Hi everybody, welcome back to the stream. Or if this is your first time and you happen to be here right now before you're seeing any gameplay or anything, hello, that's awesome. Very cool. Oh, Dan Hess, you did such a freaking great soundtrack for Pilot Wing 64. I love, love Pilot Wing 64. I've been wanting to basically play it on stream again. I actually bought a cheap $10 little USB knockoff. Pardon me, Nintendo 64 controller for the PC. Just so I can play Nintendo 64 games emulated better. Um, probably, of course, we'll be busting out the real thing whenever I get my new version of the Retro Tink 2X when the new audio sound chips come out on March 15th. Holding, you know, holding my breath and crossing my fingers, but we'll see. But we are not playing, or I am not playing, more accurately, Piloting 64 tonight. I will be playing FMV games. I love FMV video games, to doubt. Uh, a lot of people don't like them, and it's just something I just, it's always clicked in my head that I just think that they're a lot of fun. Uh, I'm sure they can be repetitive, they're cheesy, but it's just, it's a product of the era. You know, video games have tried to do things like, um, gosh, which one is it here? I, I can't believe I don't have this on here. I better, I'm going to load it up real quick. Uh, there is actually, has been a newer FMV game. Actually, I played it a long time ago. I played it on stream over about two years ago. Yeah, so let me go through and work on getting this installed real quick on Steam while I'm thinking about it. Uh, but tonight's theme is FMV video games, and we will be doing that. Let me throttle this downward to about, we'll say, I think three megabytes should be okay. I have pretty good internet. I have like 100, 120 down and about 15 up uh, megabits, so it should be fine for that. It's going through and doing some other updates, but uh, so plan tonight, play FMV video games. I have on... Um, like basically I'm playing to start off with double switch first that's gonna be the first game I'm gonna be showing off uh, maybe I'm thinking possibly who shot Johnny Rock that was a suggestion by Ronnie earlier today while speaking with him on Facebook uh, it's a game I haven't played in 20 years it actually came with my Windows 95 PC in 1995 uh, maybe some Space Ace, Mad Dog McCree, uh, Police Quest I don't know about that really because SWAT version because it's a lot of like you have to do like a lot of shooting range stuff. It's kind of boring. Uh, maybe Fox Hunt, if I didn't mention that already. Some 3DO games. We got a lot of stuff to do, uh, including also the game I'm trying to load up right now on Steam as we talk. But let's get into it. I don't know if I have. Yeah, I don't think I have it set up still for double switch. So give me one second. I'm going to launch the game and uh, quickly try to get it set up so we can actually see what's going on. Double Switch. I love Double Switch. It is, it was actually like one of the first games I ever played for the Sega CD. I don't own a Sega CD, but I own the game for it. Uh, so that's dedication right there. Oh crap, Unity. Forgot about this nonsense. See if I can resize the window slightly, if it's even an option still. I have, I finally got the PlayStation 4 version. Yes, I can, okay, cool. I can resize the window. It's gonna be a pain in the butt, but figure it out. And this is also another game where if you do not have the window open, like if it's not up front, then all the sound cuts out. So I'll be trying to stay off that as much as possible. Double switch. Um, so as I was starting to mention, I do have the PlayStation 4 version of this game. It finally came from, uh, what is it? Limited Run Games. It finally got out the door, finally shipped it out to me, so... But unfortunately, I don't have my PlayStation 4 back in the room right now, so we're not going to be playing it. It's I wanted to keep it sealed. I wasn't planning on opening it up. But then I could hear the disc rattling inside because they did a crappy job of packaging the game, so... Okay, so that's fine there. We just need to stretch out wider. A little bit more.
because this was made in Unity. The, there we go. Got it just right finally. It's like I had to manually kind of remove this thing around. There's no options for changing the resolution. Nothing. We are talking like bare bones as it gets. So I am going to have to ask you guys if or gals or whoever you are in chat, if there is any problems whatsoever, uh, please let me know like with audio uh, because I will I need to go through and fix it. Uh, the way the game is set up right now, I don't have the ability to really like to, to play it in the OBS window. So it's just going to keep kind of messing things up here. But if the audio, if the game is too loud, too quiet, let me know in chat. I am more than happy to fix it. But uh, I had beaten this game before and we'll see if I can do it again. Let's see what interfaces we got. Did modern last time. I do own the game for Sega Saturn. Maybe we'll do that version. Well, when I get my retro take, we'll definitely do that version. Maybe we'll do that layout for right now. Okay, trap three, disarm, arm. Arms on the bottom, disarm. Trap three is always one that screws me up at the end for arming and disarming, just for the layout. Yes, if no changes were done. Okay, so, uh, bonus content. It erased my bonus content. How nice. Okay, but I still have the theater options. Cool. Okay. So, this game, if you've never seen Double Search before, just a quick synopsis of what in the world it is you're going to be looking at. Think Night Trap, um, but a lot easier. Like, kind of like more kid-friendly. There's cartoonish slapstick violence, but it's not like gory or anything. I don't even think there's really any swear words to be honest in this game. They might say like damn or ass, but that'd be like the worst of it. So basically you're in this like uh, this kind of kooky neighborhood, like this apartment building, and the guy's trapped in the basement and needs your help because there's these weird people running around trying to find this lost treasure. So you need to find the codes, four numbers, to get him out of the basement, and then also protect the tenants as well. And that's the, the objective of the game. It's played out by three arcs. It's a lot easier than I trap, in my opinion, a lot more fun. Pardon me, so I own this on PC, PlayStation 4, Sega Saturn, and the Sega CD, but we're going to do a new game. <laughs> Pardon me. And like I said, I absolutely love this hey. game. Hi there. Hi. Okay, it did not take my stuff. Confirm. Alright, so... Give me one second, I need to relaunch the game. I thought I had switched it over to the Sega Saturn uh, layout. That's my apologies right there. Let me relaunch it real fast. We should be golden for the same size. One thing Unity does do correctly is actually save your layout for... There we go, for the size. So we should be good. I actually talked to uh, the guy who programmed this game, this one person, uh, the original port. Uh, the, it came out on, he actually ported it to iOS and Android about two years ago, and I got to talk to him briefly. Um, and he's like, I'm like, I was like, how long did you have to do this game? He's like, it came out of nowhere. He's like, they gave me one month, you know, contracted up, so I have no long how, I don't know how long to give him to do this. But I know that for this version, I'm going to talk to him again. Uh, he didn't have the master notes when they said, hey, we want you to, to put, you know, port this one over again here. He didn't have any master timing for anything, so he had to watch a playthrough of the Sega Saturn version and make notes of when things were supposed to happen. So as a result, this game plays differently than the other versions just because he didn't have everything he needed to, to do it correctly. Uh, the iOS and Android ports are a total disaster because... Like I said, he was given a month to get it up off the ground, so no time for bug testing, and if it doesn't work, then too bad, so sad. Here we go. Hey. Hi. Hi. My name is Eddie. Hi, Eddie. I need your help. This is my building, and since the neighborhood really sucks, I built all these traps and security systems to protect the people who live here. The problem is some bonehead locked me in the basement and cut off my controls. Except they forgot about the phone lines, which is how I got you in. Now you can protect the tenants and get me out of here. Kids these days, what's a phone? 
sense, right? You gotta help me. Anyway, I designed the whole system. That's the original Sega CD look, how it used to look like the outlet, the interface. The lobby. That's Elizabeth, she's the manager. There's a problem, don't expect her to deal with it, okay? You can see the traps and triggers for each room by pressing the start button. Oh yeah, to get me out of here, you gotta get the number from each of these power boxes. Now they flash on when anybody opens them, so you keep your eyes peeled, okay? This is Brutus, he just got out of prison. You gotta watch out for him. I don't know what he's up to, but I don't like anybody snooping around my place, okay? This is Alex's room on the second floor. By the way, Corey Haim is Eddie so we're talking to right now. Him. I think she likes me. Arlie Ermey, rest in peace. Man. He's the one who's been screwing everything up around here. Trap him whenever you can. There's an emergency alarm going off in Alex's apartment. In my apartment! Stay here and cover me while I check things out. So what you need to do, uh, as, as you may have just noticed right there, I, I armed the fireplace trap, is you're going to have bad guys walking through and they're going to be stepping on these symbols on the floor. That's your indicator to spring the trap. Now, you may have seen Game Grumps go through and play it, and of course that was just a total, oh, just to, to use, I try not to swear on my channel a lot, but a uh, total shit show. But they actually ended up playing, because, you know, Aaron's an idiot, actually ended up watching a, a playthrough on YouTube for the final episode just so people could see how it ended. But um, if you arm both the traps or more than one trap and try to spring it, the system will overload and you won't. it will not trap the bad guy you're trying to get. So you have to make sure you arm the right trap. Uh, you can also disarm it as well. So right now I have, whoops, they didn't even save it really. That's an interesting bug, so... If you pause, if you have anything armed and you unpause it, it disarms your trap. So now I'm gonna hit it, bam, right there. So that guy's trapped. Missed him, he's teeter totter. So you see him get knocked back down. Nobody's dead or anything, you know, it's 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 a lot. It's, a, it's family it. friendly. And this is the 25th anniversary edition, so it's like remastered video. This is by far and away the best version of the game to play and look at uh, if you're interested in this game at all. It's pretty cheap. Uh, I had some issues at first when this game first came out because it was pretty buggy. Uh, there was actually a timing issue where you could not beat, you couldn't beat the first act, but that got fixed up. But, um, but yeah, this game's it's one I'd recommend if you're just looking for, for something to have fun with. It's one of my favorites. So this guy's Brutus, he's just out of jail. When I come back, I want you gone. And he's looking for a hidden treasure. This is a band. You can trap them, man. Uh, you'll get yelled at. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm also colorblind, so it's hard for me to tell what room I'm on. Pardon me, but... I played this game like so often I pretty much know where everything is. Uh, I was got a trapper. And this one's a punch. Ah, oh, right, kiss her. Statue is what I think it is. That bug was just the beginning. Here it is. No, this one's a window. Life and death. Pay dirt. So these two are like college graduate archaeologists. Kind of, I'll be pausing a lot, just kind of explaining the story because a lot of people don't get to do this. Like you learn the story playing the game multiple times, trial and error, dying, watching different scenes, people coming and going, getting away. But these two are like uh, archaeological uh, graduates, I think, for or students. I can't remember exactly. And they have this mysterious, um, you know statue shipped to them like the isis statue and it's as you can tell things are kind of like a well maybe not be able to tell like an egyptian themed throughout the house the apartment complex and they're starting to learn that there's a possibly a treasure hidden somewhere in the building okay the statue was found in a hey wake up you gotta get the code numbers to get me out of here 
big by a guy named Lionel Atwater Edward, an American, back in 1912. So I missed a code number, so I'm gonna die. There's no way to. Once you miss a code Let's number, get this thing authenticated. you I'll can't get. You can't beat the first run. act. But I can unlock and show you some more story stuff. Oh, this thing's rare. I'll just put it right there. So you gotta wonder about this place, like, if you ever rent an apartment here, it's like, what makes it so, like, you know, you have all these traps here on the ground, but what if somebody puts a carpet okay, on top of it, <laughs> you have, like, a, 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 like, a fall away or actually uses to their fireplace, then what? Trap him whenever you can. You know, someone lets a fire in the fireplace, then what? Brutus. I don't believe I know him, Mr. Brutus. By the way, the girl there is Debbie Harry. She is the lead well, singer of the group Blondie. The name is familiar. Heart of Glass, Maria. I Call me. Met him at some point. Oh yes. Now I know the gentleman you fellows are looking for. He's in room two three two. So these guys are mobsters, they're after Brutus upstairs, because apparently he owes them money, he's in with the mob. Now, the guy who was inquiring about it is named Mario, and his mob boss is named Luigi. They put a Mario Brother joke in this game. That, this is, it's one of the reasons I love this game. It's just for silly things like that that just kind of go over most people's head. One of the codes. It's the other code. What do you even do? Hey Jay, first off, welcome. Good to see you. Um, basically, I was kind of explaining a little earlier, but I don't mind explaining again because this is my absolute favorite FMV game of all time. If you've played the game Night Trap, think a far easier, coherent version of that game. Um, basically, like where Night Trap, you had revolving uh, security codes, like so, like green might arm traps, and then all of a sudden you'll have a character say, "We need to switch it to orange." And if you didn't catch it, you'd be locked out, and none of your traps would work. You wouldn't know when to trigger anything. This game solves all these problems. So, quick story rundown: There's a guy named Eddie in the basement of, the, of this building. He's trapped, locked down there. And he basically protect, built all these traps throughout the apartment complex because it's a quote-unquote crappy neighborhood, as he says, to protect his tenants. But people are trying to break into the apartment complex and uh, they're looking for hidden treasure. Everyone's got their own things going on. So the big mechanic, as I mentioned, like Night Trap, is you want to trap the bad guys to protect the tenants. There's these floor symbols in each room. As you can see, one here says like mummy, the other one's lamp, and an alcove uh, that comes in later. So you have two traps later on, three traps per room, and it's up to you to figure out which trap the bad guy's gonna set on so you can like, or trigger, so you can arm it and then hit the button and trap them. Uh, it's not bloody, it's not violent or anything, it's very slapstick. It's, like I said, it's like Night Trap, but a lot, a lot easier, a lot more fair and fun. Uh, and this is the 25th anniversary edition that came out not too long ago. I'm playing the Steam version, but I also own it for PlayStation 4. It was ported to uh, the Sega Saturn years ago, because it actually started off on the Sega CD. And I actually own the Mega CD, the Japanese version of that, because I'm a huge nerd. I don't even own a Sega CD, so take that if you will. So yeah, so this game, it's it's hokey, but I mean, I love FMV games because they're cheesy and fun. They are a product of their own time. So earlier, I was just kind of explaining things and, and let a, a code number go through. By the way, like, so Eddie in the basement, Corey Haim, uh, you need to have find four door codes. You just saw me get two of them, and uh, you need four of them to get them out and progress the game. So I'm actually going to die at one point here because I don't have them all. I missed them. So this guy's gonna step on the mummy trap. Just like that. 
but yeah, it's a lot of fun. I recommend it. Uh, like I said, if you like FMV games or something that's different, this is definitely the way to go. Here we go, the mobsters. So, the guy with the hat there, who just walked in, he's in center screen, just about, not him, but, you know, I'm trying to remember the guy's name by the Egyptian pictures. His name is Mario. He's a mob guy, and he's working with a guy named, his mob boss is Luigi. Mario and Luigi, they put a Mario Brothers joke in this game. And I think the game's gonna end right around now. Luigi? Two weeks are up, oh, I gotta mess friend. up. He's Luigi, his mob I boss is Mario. <laughs> Mario and Luigi. What do you think, I'm stupid? I'm gonna believe there's gold around here? I'm telling you, Luigi. My father laid bricks on this building. On his dying deathbed, he told me there was treasure buried in this building. Why am I gonna make this up? Maybe you wanna buy yourself some more time. So I don't blow your face all over this room. <laughs> you know what, Brutus? Time's up. No! No, no! You thought Luigi was Brutus's friend? He didn't have any friends. Neither do you. So you're supposed to use the, the punch, basically, like, it'll shoot the column out. Knocks the gun out of his hand, Brutus punches the guy, and they all run off. Then you also have, like, people in green running around. They're like crazy cult people looking for the hidden treasure again. Everything centers around treasure. So what I'm going to do is this game... Yeah, so I think new game might tell us the full intro. We'll see. Uh, let's, if it doesn't, I'm just going to exit the game and relaunch it real quick. Hey. Hey. Hi. Hello there. It didn't save my settings. Quit. This the PC version. I don't. I, I own the PlayStation 4 version, but I have not played it yet. Uh, I don't have my PS4 in my room right now, where everything's set up. But um, it's it's glitchy. I mean, like I said, right now I'm using an Xbox 360 controller, but still reading it as a PS4. It's made in Unity, so you don't have any options for resolution, resizing, everything. You have to do it manually by hand. It sucks. Um, but it's it's still fun. Like I said, if you got like 10 bucks or so, I think it's worth it. Pardon me. So, I am more used to the Sega Saturn version. So I'm going to put the layout on that. This is the Mega CD or the Sega CD version. Modern I don't like because there's just a lot of weird flickering lights and bizarre trans like transitions that take longer. So I'm just going to stick with the Saturn notification, like how it's set up for that. So let's try this again. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it gives us the intro of Little Rock. Hey. Hi. My name is Eddie. I need your help. This is my building. And since the neighborhood really sucks, I built all these traps and security systems to protect the people who live here. The problem is some bonehead locked me in the basement and cut off my controls. By the way, if I need to adjust the audio, please the let me lines, know. Which is how I got you in. Now you can protect the tenants and get me out of here. You and me are friends, right? You gotta help me. Anyway, I designed the whole system. Ah, now this is the lobby. That's Elizabeth. She's the manager. There's a problem. Don't expect her it's to It's Debbie deal with Harry, it, okay? the singer of Bloody. You can see the traps and triggers for each room by pressing the start button. Oh, yeah. To get me out of here, you got to get the number from each of these power boxes. Now, they flash on when anybody opens them, so you keep your eyes peeled, okay? This is Brutus. He just got out of prison. You better watch out for him. I don't know what he's up to, but I don't like anybody snooping around my place, okay? This is Alex's room on the second floor. She's a new girl in town. She says she's a journalist. I think she likes me. Lyle, the Harley, you me. He's the one who's been screwing everything up around here. Trap him whenever you can. There's an emergency alarm going off now. There's someone in my apartment. Stay here and cover me while I check things out. See, any chance this game has subtitles? 
Yeah, I can turn up the game a little more. Unfortunately, this game does not have subtitles because I am with you. I would love to hear that as well because I have hearing problems. Um, but yeah, it would be a lot better, but unfortunately it doesn't. But I'll turn up the game volume a little bit if that's going to help out. Uh, let me know if it's too loud. Unfortunately, with this game being programmed in Unity, if it's not up front and center, then the audio pauses right now. And so I can't play it through the OBS window and adjust it on the fly. So... Uh, let me know if I need to raise it up any more after this. It's not a problem. This, but no. Uh, the label was quite unreadable. Some kind of an Egyptian statue. Seems like your kind of thing, Phoebe. Thank you, Mrs. Edward. I'm gonna trap the girl here. I don't think I've ever done it, so let's do that. Crap, I forgot. For the power. So if they pull the power, it's game over. So anybody in the lower right hand corner takes the power and it's game over. No, 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 no! Eddie man, come on! He took my we were right in the middle of practicing our Egyptian song. Do you know how hard it is to find backup singers who can dance like that? Come on! Now look what happened! Look, these guys are just rehearsing. You shouldn't have nailed her. Come on, get with it. This isn't a game, people. But it is a game. <gasps> hey, wake up! You gotta get the code numbers to get me out of here! Yeah, it's like, um, I'm pretty sure it is. All right, so like I said, you can't miss a single door code. There's four of them, and like, I just grabbed it because I wanted to see it because I've never done it before. Because uh, one of the things you do once you beat the game is you have a theater option. So you can actually go through and watch everything previously. Like you can see the time that I didn't save Alex. Eddie, there's someone in my apartment. Stay here and cover me while I check things out. So when you do different actions, you can basically, you unlock them for, you know, in the theater to watch later or what do you have to do. But in order to do this, you got to die a lot of times. So, um, like I said, normally in the, in the case of playing the game, like you would just basically play it over and over and, and slowly piece together the story yourself. All right, new game. We'll skip the intro because we've already seen it. Hey. All right, I guess we'll keep the modern setting here, I guess. Hey. There's someone in my apartment. Stay here and cover me while I check. So as you notice, I got a fireplace and a window trap. Like, but if you arm up all of them like this and then do it, you get an overload. So you can only arm one trap and execute it at a time. If you overload, nothing goes off. You don't trap anybody. It's the same guy. What is he? I guess he's got a twin. Open me. If I want your help, I'll ask for it. Now, what Got I really it? like in this game is uh, colorblind mode, because I am colorblind, and it's hard for me to tell what room I am on. Uh, so why is it three bars or all or nothing? Three, just so basically it puts more pressure on you as a gamer. So instead of just having one button pressing, like to either arm or disarm, uh, it's basically makes the game slightly harder. It's a, it's an option. It's basically something that when they developed the game, they decided to do. Because I guess like one button press would be way too easy, and I would agree. 
Whereas three, you have to really jam on the button real fast or disarm it. Now it's rather loud compared to you. Take it back. Turn yourself. Okay, so I will turn it down slightly. Here we go. We'll see if that's that's better. Like I said, if anything, if I need to readjust it again, speak up and let me know. It's all cool. All right, so we'll see how this is now. So hopefully it's a little bit better. When I come back, I want you gone. All right. Box man. Black. I think this is the room where. Okay, it's punch. And he's murdered. Ah, crap. Okay, so what's throwing me off about this game is that when they programmed it, they didn't have the master files. They didn't get all the stuff that they needed to. So they had to program it. The guy I talked to the guy who actually did this. Uh, he had to watch a playthrough of the Sega Saturn version and make notes for when stuff was supposed to happen. So as a result, the timing for this game when people appear and not is completely different. Like, you were supposed to be able to hit the guy out the window, and then the guy with the door coat just show up another 15 seconds later. So, yeah, this is a, a total... Hey. Total rush job. There's an emergency... Eddie! There's somebody in my apartment! Also, this PC version... You can keep trying to go to the same room. It shouldn't do that at all. Trapped. This guy, I think, is Lamp. Yep. Peter Daughter. Brutus yelling, don't spy on me, because it's weird and... Hey, I'm pretty sure it's a violation of several different me. laws to have cameras spying on your help. tenants. I'll ask for it. Got it? Pretty sure, at least. I mean... See, if trusty can't arm a trap in one room and then go to another, trusty will go off. No, you have to actually, when you arm it, you actually have to hit the button again for the fourth time in order to trigger that trap. Um, and the Sega Saturn version, like I said, this is what this is based off of, uh, actually uses full well the six button controls because you have one button to arm and then the button directly above it disarms which is a lot easier. The Sega CD version, which was when this game first came out on, had to use three buttons. So you'd have like one would move you around, then you had to confirm what room you wanted to go to. Then you had to hit the arm button to pick which trap you wanted, then confirm and then try to arm it and then disarm. I mean, like you were just like hammering buttons nonstop. And I saw that tunnel bridge, yeah. So uh, the Sega Saturn, Version is like if you were to get like if you didn't buy this version, why to buy you know, an original version of the game for like a retro system? Sega Saturn is the way to go for it. Man, Eddie, man. And whenever I get my Retro Tink 2X, the new version with the fixed audio chip that's not popping and cracking all the time, I do plan on streaming the Saturn version. Uh, that'll be fun. Who's that guy? No biggie. just the beginning okay focus on this guy he's gonna get it first door code that's one of them and murder because that's like second story i'm sure he's dead Put up my coffee.
pretty sure he's lamp. Yeah, he's a lamp. So. Oh, hey, it's the same guy. He didn't learn his lesson from last time. I wasn't paying attention. My bad. Eventually, shift the audio balance towards yourself a bit more. No, no, no. It's it's not a problem. Like I said, I have no problem adjusting audio to make sure that you can hear everything better. Because I mean, I hate tuning into a stream where it's like either the game volume is nothing, or it's like way too loud, and you're like, hey, just let you know. And the person's like, yeah, I don't care. And just like, dude, just fix it. So yeah, it, like I said, it's I. Don't mind changing stuff at all, like for audio balance. So don't be ever be afraid, or anyone lurking in chat to be afraid to let me know if something's off. So give me a second. I'm gonna mute the microphone and open up a can of soda. There we go. I just didn't want that like crack right into the microphone. All right, so back with the game we'll see how this goes like i said unfortunately with this one the audio balance is kind of weird because you have quiet moments where people are kind of talking and then like this loud trap going off and music cues all right and uh here we go Get uh -huh. take that early ermy oh no Yeah, all right. Good job. Good job. That should slow him down. Very nicely done. Let's see, these are the mobsters looking for Brutus. May I help you? Yeah, we're looking for Brutus. I don't believe I know him, Mr. Brutus. I know him, Maria. She has a heart of glass. Well, you might want to call me. The name is familiar. I may have met him at some point. Oh, yes. Now I know the gentleman you fellas are looking for. He's in room 232. For me. This guy's a column. The old teeter totter. You gotta do something about that mob guy. I'm serious. Now, pretty soon there's going to be two door codes like we saw earlier, almost back to back. Here we go. So the timing for this is messed up. When the game first came out, it was like they played at the exact same time. It was impossible to get past the game. Like, you were stuck. You love it, don't you? Go, the mobsters. Now we're gonna save Brutus. Oh, oh this guy's a power box. I may have played this game a little bit for the past 25 years, I mean, just possibly. Those codes like some sort of numbers aren't moving, the sons we need to remember. Nope, it's basically they just animated it later, of course, you know, post production type deal. Um, you just have to basically watch them to get open. It's like a different number every single time. That's the only true like RNG sequence, pretty much. It's just the numbers come up, they don't mean anything. You just have to physically see them. Uh, I also mentioned like the timing being off because they didn't have the source material. Now, later on, and I think it's Act Two that's coming up pretty soon is um the, the uh, arlie ermy's character the handyman you actually do not want to trap him anymore because he seems he basically goes through and opens up more traps for you he's actually a good guy it turns out that's the double switch it's one of the switches that goes on the game but um so he gives you the stuff there now in the saturn sega cd versions pc version as well i've heard as soon as he like 
twists like the screwdriver to basically open up the trap for you. In those versions, you can instantly switch off the room and trap somebody else in another area, no problem. In this version of the game, you actually have to wait for the trap to come out into the room and then you'll see it activate because they screwed it up. So that's another little timing issue with this game for hardcore people like me notice, but like for somebody who's never played it before or is casual about this game, I uh, would never notice. So here we go. All right, so Luigi. Two weeks are up, my friend. I got two more hours. So he works for his brother Mario. Mario and Luigi. What do you think, I'm stupid? I'm gonna believe there's gold around here? I'm telling you, Luigi, my father laid bricks on this building. On his dying deathbed, he told me there was treasure buried in this building. Why am I gonna make this up? Maybe you wanna buy yourself some time. <laughs> okay, now that's fine. All over this room! <laughs> you know what, Brutus? Time's up. <laughs> Heck of a bunch. You tell Luigi and Mario their days are numbered. That just cracks me up so much. Mario and Luigi joke in a Sega CD game or Sega game. All right, final code. Now it doesn't instantly go, great, I'm out. It lets you go through and finish up this one. Yeah, go. Is it? He's dead. Ah, great, great. You got the code number, great. Oh, you're good. You're very, very good. I'm out of here. All right, let me level with you. I'll tell you what's really going on around here. I think there's a killer in the building, and I think I know who it is, and I'm going to nail a sucker. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch the basement camera on for you. Keep an eye on my place. Don't let nobody knows around here. Code numbers. So that's the end of Act One, and this game does save it. Uh, Sega CD version, actually no, it's the uh, Saturn version. Let's you save between each act. Right now, it just does it automatically. Gives you a black screen. Sega Saturn version would bring up a save screen so you could either save it to internal memory or an expansion card that you could put into the system itself. So that's kind of nice. Whereas, uh, it's kind of interesting because the, the Saturn version had higher quality video, but it had to be on two game discs, whereas the Sega CD version was all in one. So, And there was no saving until, I think, the end. I don't think you could save between the acts either. All right, so let's keep going. Who has a doorbell in the basement? No, she's a coffin. Oop. Surprise! How'd you get out? My little helper. Eddie? Hey, why don't you just shut up, okay? Why don't you just get the hell out of our lights? Eddie, your mother and I are worried. Don't you talk about my mother, all right? This is my building, mine. If it wasn't for me, this place would be Crater City. Now, if you mess with me... Not Crater City. You gotta get it. You got it? Well, we'll see about that. The old man just doesn't get it, does he? I think we have the cult people showing up. Come on, hit the button. There's no scroll here, boys, but I may have a key. Your father was a member of our secret society. On behalf of his legacy. I can't if it's real. There it is. A statue. Get them! You don't have to save them there, 
Oh, that's right, this guy's actually a teeter-totter. It's a fake out. But it's optional. So let's see. Eddie! My hero! Come on in! Hey, you know what? Stand over there. I want to get a picture of you for my story. Story? The story? The one I'm doing on the Edward Arms. It's a good belly flop. This guy's a lamp. Oh, oh. Okay. Crap. I'm missing everything all the time. Woo! I suck. Of course, I'm also on a lot of painkillers right now, so... Pain Doc took me off the one that worked really ridiculously well, but me on one that doesn't work too well, so... Yeah, I'm not too happy about it. All right, so I think this is, yeah, this is a power box. This is important. Now, you notice in the lower left, you have captured and escaped. If you have two people escaping, you can also get a game over. So you gotta keep your mind on that, too. Make sure you don't uh, let too many people go. But now you're not in danger of, like, you know, door codes messing. And here a lamp. Electronic world is apparently okay. Here we go. Oh, yeah, it's like X winds everywhere me, falling for the same but stuff. Your life may be in imminent danger. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. You to tell me that, mister. I'm not sure what accent I just used there, but it wasn't the best one. Okay, let's see. So I make sure that there's no one's going for the power box all over this building. Yeah, sure. I mean, literally, your life is safe with one. Now, watch when it activates, it should be watch right out for this one now but now it goes so that that delay is actually can be crucial later on this guy's a teeter-totter sorry i'm late guys yeah you are late Screwing off again, man. Well, yeah, I know. This one I rarely ever get. So it basically knocks them into the room where they stand on the middle there and no, oh, no. I'm Sammy Hamlin from Zoo Record. That guy's dead, unfortunately. There's a lot of people who are in this game who are dead now. It's surprising, really. Don't bother to knock. Well, I'm sorry, ma'am, but this is an emergency situation we're dealing with here. Come with me. I'll show you. Okay. So I got to get back into the no, band no, room real quick as soon as, this, as soon as I get this trap given to me. Check this out. There we go. And I call that tunnel vision. I'm scratching my truth. And I call that tunnel vision. Seen it. Great. More I'm surprised at how nothing is as it seems. Eddie's so cool. Okay, so that guy. Alright. It's actually just a person about to come into this door, so you gotta knock him out the window. Wow, that, that's pretty good. It's a game over if you don't do that as well. So you, you start getting a lot more game overs outside of the power boxes and missing codes. And missed him. Okay, here we go. I can't hear you. So I think it's a coffin. Oh yeah, I mean limited technology at the time, really. Jeff, you're scaring me. I think Eddie's your friend, but he's been flipping out here lately. And he's gonna try to switch you off from down here. And when he does, 
Use this. Right into the incinerator. It's a great joke. Good moment. I would love to see a more modern FMV game. You know, that it'd have like a lot more branching things going off and, and things to look at. It'd be great. Because I mean, we have the technology for it now. No reason not to really do it, but of course FMV games were not popular. I'm pretty much the only person who really liked them. So... Yeah, so Brutus is about to get Here's in trouble. another one of Eddie's secret alcove traps. Yeah, so Eddie is, that's a surprise, it's a spoiler, the mummy is Eddie. So, uh, you may notice, like, kind of like the traps are flashing on the screen real quick. You have to disarm the traps or he'll trap the tenants and then you get a game over. Yep. I always like to make sure, because I've actually had people watch me play this before and they're like, what's going on? Why did why you keep doing it back and forth real fast? It's like, mm, that wasn't me. <laughs> We are the Society of Low IQ. We can easily get out of these traps, but we do not. Oops. Uh... Alright, what's over here? Give me the old punchy punch in the face. What are you doing here? Excuse me, ma'am. There's something I need to tell you. Eddie's my son. Ooh, achievement. Plot twist. He told me his father was dead. Well, maybe that's what he wishes. The best new artist award. I've been here a long time, you know. I have needs. Of... You're pretty. Entirely healthy. Well, and uh, what's your major malfunction? I think he might try to do something really bad. Jeff! Oh, crap. Jeff, look out! Oh, what's up? My God, it's not a joke. It's dangerous. Hey. Come on, man. Chill out. Chill out. No! Come on. Did I get it? Yes. Okay. It's like, oh crap! I kept hitting the wrong button for a second. I'm like, oh no, I'm gonna lose. All right. Let's see. Unfortunately, like the window I have is. I only have one monitor set up, so I can't see everything here, so I gotta pause real quick. There's a game that's sort of like this, except completely different parallel events and furling at the bottom of things that change events. Isometric thing, not like this. Huh. That'd be interesting. If you can remember what that game's called, by all means, uh, let me know. I'd like to check that out. Always up to checking out new things. Chair. With the stuff. They're fine. <laughs> I've never seen that trap actually go off in like the 25 years I've been playing this game. Never saw that one before. That's that's funny. I like it. Straight to the point. Place. What even Eddie doesn't know about. The timing for this was really hard in the original versions. Myself. Find for you. I think you'll enjoy it. Sort of time travel, instant game overs, and such. That you can get there it sounds vaguely familiar like i've heard something like that i may have actually seen it too so you know, like instant game over is a time travel i'm thinking possibly it might be time gal was it like anime if you remember it wasn't like overhead but it was kind of like a like a dragon's lair type thing that's the only thing i can think of
possibly what it would be. The only game I can think of is like an FMV type game where you have like time travel involved. I'm not sure if the one you're telling about is, is FMV games either, but pardon me, that's one that's kind of popping into my brain. To keep Eddie away from the phone line. Believe anything he says, all right? Do you know why he hates me? Oh, come on, game. Ah, I'm done. I'll tell you why he hates me. Hit the wrong one. He hates me because he's my father. That's why he hates me. He's my dad. Game's over, sucker. I hit the wrong button. That was entirely upon me. Oops. Okay, so we're going to actually quit the game right now. We're going to switch it up to another game. This is a modern, kind of modern game, FMV game. And let's see, Steam. I always hate like I pull up Steam. It's like, hey, you're on your library where you want to be. Nope, go to the store instead. You must look at the store. Why does this say queued? Update required. Run the update, please. Really? Really, game? You're going to pull this on me? All right, let me blast this through real quick. So we're going to start dropping frames here for a second, but you know what? That's okay, because I have the game paused right now for the moment. So um, basically what it is, it's a game that just recently came out not too long ago, about two years ago. So it's called Press, uh, what is it? Press X to Not Die. And it's an FMV game, uh, which is kind of cool. Okay, Sex Brutal. Taking a look at it right now, the, the way you just mentioned. Okay, so the update will be done in about three minutes. Kind of like a, yeah, it's like a isometric, like three-fourths overhead view. This came out. It came out back in April 2017. Okay, let me uh, copy this down, and I will check that a little bit later. Did by J. Yeah, I don't have any like restrictions for like posting links or anything here in my chat. I haven't had any problems with people wanting to do that, so so that's why I don't have it blocked or anything. All right, but actually, like I said, I pulled it up here and took a look at it. This is kind of interesting, watching a video with no sound, but um, yeah, like I said, I wrote it down, so I'll definitely be checking it out. So Press X to Die is going to be done in about two minutes. So I have it set for 10 megabyte a second download, so I can't quite stream right now at the moment and play that, but it'll be done in one minute. We'll start it up. But yeah, if you ever have like any suggestions or anyone who may be lurking in, in chat, if like any suggestions for games to, for me to look at or, or try out, by all means, you know, recommend away. It's it's definitely cool to do that. So it seems like a, a lot of people are like are afraid of Twitch faux pas, you know, like, oh, I can't really, you know, don't, don't recommend games to somebody or don't speak up if there's a problem with the stream or anything. And I'm just like, yeah, tell me, you know, if you got something that you think is cool and I should look at, by all means, let me know. You know, or problem with the stream if it's suddenly turned into a slideshow and it's not supposed to be a slideshow that's another big thing to tell me about <laughs> ow all right so let's see while that's going on yeah we're, we're dropping frames we got ooh, 50 seconds left all right we're almost there thanks for hanging in and while we're doing that i'm going to update the stream title real quick or the game here press x to not die. And I think I have there's another game. I'm not sure if I own it. I know it's got FMV parts to it. It's called, yeah, I do own it, but I don't, I don't have it installed. It's called Roundabout. It's kind of like this uh, puzzle game where you have this like spinning, rotating limo. And you have to like navigate it through a maze without hitting stuff or, or you die. Uh, but it's got really cheesy FMV intros. It's kind of like more of a, it's actually more of a mature rated game for things I've, I've seen of it. But uh, yeah, it's another 
It's like FMV started to kind of almost make a comeback, which really got me excited for a while. All right, here we go. Finally done. Very good. We are going to exit the double switch. Exit. Oh yeah, yeah, unfortunately, like, well I actually did do a run of Bayonetta 2 probably about, maybe about last month or so. Uh, like I said, I was on a really, really effective painkiller. It's a patch called Butrans, and that worked really well. I mean, I was able to walk, uh, able to exercise on a treadmill. I've lost 15 pounds that I've gained, you know, and then some uh, because I'm able to exercise again. And then I had my back injected yesterday, and uh, my pain doctor's like, well, you don't need this anymore, and I'm taking you off. And I'm like, no, you jerk. <laughs> the back, you know, the, the injections did not work. I am in a lot of pain. Put me back on it. So I'm fighting to get back on the meds I need. But yeah, I would love to get back to Bayonetta 2. It's really driving me nuts not being able to play it. Just since a lot of things have changed up. Okay, launching the game. And as soon as I know we're looking at a, a black screen here, we'll just put up this instead in the meantime. But I'm just waiting for the, it's doing the, you know, installing, performing first time setup. So as soon as I have the, the active window, I'll set that up in OBS real quick. This, if you've never seen this before, is actually, it's a music video I have muted. It's by a group called The Geeks. All right. The game is launched and it's full screen. Video options. Yes, here we go. Okay. It's a band called The Geeks, and the song's called Journeyman, and it's actually one of my favorite uh, Japanese rock groups, so very cool. But, like, the video is just nothing but Famicom clips, so here we go. Press X not to die. Here we go. All right. Oh no, I've been on painkillers for two years now. I know I'm fully addicted to them. Uh, so it's, it's one of the things I've discussed with them is like when I get done, like when I get my back gets fixed, they're gonna have to step me off them. Because my insurance company screwed with me for four days. They refused to authorize any stuff I had and the Butrans patch is pretty freaking expensive. So it wasn't like I could just go, like I'm on Oxycontin right now or Oxycodone. So like if I had to pay that out of pocket, it's like 20 bucks for a month, not a problem. Like Butrans without insurance is like 500 bucks. So I'm like, yeah, that's not gonna happen. So my insurance company decided to screw me around on it for four days and I didn't have anything. And I started going through withdrawal. So I know exactly what withdrawal is gonna be like. It's it's not like the worst thing in the world. You're just, it's, you just become like super aggravated. All right, so let's see, game options. Yeah, you can turn on 1994 mode. Make everything look like that, I think it's great. Yeah, it's unfortunately a lot of people are, are getting thrown under the bus like myself from the whole opioid thing because, you know, it's like, we're not the problem, the, the, it's all lumped together. So they're like, yeah, it's, it's because, you know, opioid addicts there, fentanyl and heroin and everything are skyrocketing, but it's like people like me who need these things to like so that way we don't blow our brains out and it can actually function and actually go and, and do things we need to do are not the ones abusing the drugs and they've actually proven that multiple times through different studies and, and different things so here we go press x to the not die i do have subtitles turned on we'll see how this works New game, and yeah, for normal human reflexes, really good at pressing buttons, you are button pressing god. Or for those a little slow, we'll do normal. Uh, medium, 360 gamepad, here we go. Dude, wake up! M Matt? Dude, everyone's going crazy. Everyone in town is just attacking everybody. It's like that shitty M. Night Shyamalan movie. <laughs> Uh, which one? Uh, let's see. The Little Mermaid. What? I... Never mind all that. Okay, I figured it out. Now this is important. The secret to Some people may have been paid more, but the majority they just didn't really know about it. 
Oh no, I hit A. Seriously, how hard was that? Yeah, they're they're going in the full blown like opposite reaction, and I'm used to PlayStation controls, so I thought I Never hit X, but it was A. Okay, Oops. I figured it out. Now this is important. The secret to survival is press X to not die. Good job, dude. Oh my god, man! Matt! 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 Matt? Where is everyone? Hi, Katie. Oh my god, I gotta call Christina. Hello? Are you alright? Everyone's attacking each other. Or someone just killed Matt. Hmm. Let's go with, I guess, someone just killed Matt. Oh my god. Was it a Twilight fan? I told him not to join Team Jacob. <laughs> uh, it might have been. Or, well, clearly he deserved to die. Oh, I forgot how crazy this game is. Well, yeah, but it's still a tragic. Hello? Christina? Let's get, let me know no if I need reception. to change Seriously? the audio. What's with this icon? I've got to go get her. Actually, I need to raise the volume on my headset real quick. There we go. Oh man, what should I do? <laughs> Help him, dumbass. Oh, you basically like, it, like it doesn't work right. Like you either like, it basically makes you loop it again. It's like you like it's kind of like comically punched the air. Same thing with the front of the door. Like you you mess up and you just start like stabbing like the like the deadbolt and you have to do it again. Uh, let's see. Take his bike. Everyone for himself. Outrunner, you're on a bike. Are we talking about this? You're cute. Yeah, I guess he's into psychotic tsundere's. I knew chemistry class would kill you, but this is ridiculous. Let's see if we can uh, kill her with kindness. Crazy bitch. 
here. Christina? Christina? No, it's you. You're just in time. My roommate is trying to kill me. Weird ADR. <laughs> Oh yeah, they had a lot of fun with this game. There's a lot of like different oh, outtakes and stuff. Fresh. Okay, all right, you kill him to your roommate. Damn, you're badass. I know, right? I mean, one minute she's sitting there reading her Hunger Games Catching Fire book, and the next thing I know, she's lunging at me with a kitchen knife. I mean, I know she was really into Hunger Games, but that was ridiculous. Um, Battle Royale was better? Excuse me? That's it. It's the whole town. Everyone's going crazy. Like that shitty M. Night Shyamalan movie? <laughs> yeah, we're, that's it. I'm going with the Little Mermaid all the way through. What? Anyway, it's really dangerous outside. I died oh yes, once Battle Royale is my favorite movie and, and book and the manga. Almost killed me. Wow, that's great. The manga is very I'm close to the book, so Cover me. I would say but, the manga, read that. But Epic. Did you hear me? Are you crazy? We don't have time for that. Sweet, a shower scene. But yeah, Battle Royale, like I said, I love the movie. Uh, I saw it before it, like, it ever came out here in the States, so. But if you can get your hands on the manga... Actually, I might even have it on my G Drive. Give me a second here. Check that out. If I do, I'll drop a link here for it. But, um, yeah, the manga basically follows, like, the book. And it's just, like, it's hard, hardcore. It's, it's like, if they had made the movie anywhere like that, it would have been just mind-blowing. Aha, I do. All right. There you go. So that's the... I actually have the manga uploaded to my G-Drive, so uh, check that out. Death Note movies, I did not like. Um, I saw the Japanese ones. I haven't seen the American version, so I have no idea how that turned out. But the, the Japanese were just, like, super hokey. I didn't like them at all. Um, a lot of Japanese cinema, it's like, I'm not really that too much a fan of. They just tend to be really overacting. But um, the Ryuni Kenshin, that was a really... That, that, like, set my bar really high for like manga or anime adaptions to real life. Um, so like, so Reunion Kenshin, that was a really good three series there. Uh, the Bleach movie actually wasn't too bad, but I have a feeling like if you've never read the source material or saw the anime, you might be lost on that. All right, so sweet, a shower scene. What? I think you can, why is her, <laughs> yeah, why is it? Washroom, it's her house. Yeah, so if you've read it or, or seen it, then you should be fine. But I'm just thinking, like, if I were to show my parents or somebody who's never seen it before, they'd probably be completely lost. Juggalos. What a mess. There we go. All clean. I don't think this was the best use of my time. All right, so what's the plan? I think we should get out of town. Okay, how are we gonna do that? I have a car back at my place. Well, why didn't you drive it here then? Hmm, what are my options? I'll go with this one. Okay, well, let's go get it.
I really like the Death Note manga, but like, I'm trying to think like around the halfway point of like its run, the guy just wrote himself into this huge corner. I'm thinking like, how is he gonna get himself out of it? And it's just like really dragged. It's like when I'm trying to remember the girl's name and L and Light are all like living together because they're kind of like going through and trying to figure out who's doing it. It just like killed everything entirely. Is it like Gantz? Uh, I would say it's better than Gantz because in Gantz, like nobody wins. It's like if you're in if you're in the world of Gantz, you're not gonna have a good time. It's like no one walks away from that in a good thing. It's like the manga is very violent. The book describes it kind of like it there, but the manga is pretty much just like shows it in full. Like somebody gets shot in the head, you're seeing brain fly all over the place, but. The manga is very, very truthful. It follows the, the book very closely. So. Yeah. Yeah, so like, like uh, the Battle Royale manga is, is hyper violent. Uh, but I mean, like the book, it was all described as well. But it's like this actually makes it a little bit easier to do. Because like in the book, you're constantly, they're throwing out like 42 kids, different names and backstories. It gets a little confusing. So the manga really just, you know simplifies it uh gantz as well can get a little confusing too so the manga is is definitely a way to go for it there but yeah gantz is like i'd say battle royale is violent but it's not near gantz's level that's just like super hyper violent all the way from start to finish yeah it gets really weird and i don't know how far you got into it but then like there's actually a whole alien invasion and uh yeah it gets like off the rails I've, i think i've read like three-fourths of the manga i need to go back and finish it you know fences have gates right uh... i've been wondering whatever's happened how come we're not affected i don't know the power of our love do you drink milk i think it's milk uh maybe not Matt wasn't affected either. He told me something before he died. Press X to not die. What does that mean? I don't know. But I kind of feel like I've been doing it. Oh, ah, oh, oh, what the hell? Ah. Yeah, well, you're not very good at it. Oh, ow. Sorry, yeah, I've noticed that too. Do you think there are other people like us? People who are okay? Why does everyone keep attacking me? Yeah, I think so. That yeah, sure was timely. It might not be the quite right word. Sorry, Mrs. Peterson. Get away from me, you hooligan! Sorry, Mrs. Peterson! Sorry, but you're now bait for them. Is she gonna be okay? I think so. We should head back indoors. Yeah. This building's unlocked. The building's unlocked? What? Don't you mean the door? What is this place? I don't know. That was great. I don't know. Oh, shoot. Okay, so it's not the same button press every single time. Most of us, huh? Yeah, so being an oxycodone may not be the best for me to try to do this. Multiple inputs. One or two, no problem, but you start getting multiple directions and a controller I'm not too familiar with. Screws me up just slightly. All right, I can do it. Uh, 
Yay! It's one heck of a staple gun. Are you okay? Staple in the concrete. Yeah. You know Kung Fu? Apparently. Huh? Come on, let's go. I don't like this. <laughs> Nunchucks. Christina. The Asian guy with nunchucks. I'm a, I'm appalled. Game. Not really. I just find it funny. Have to have some kind of faux outrage. You can try that door. It's locked. Cover me. I'll pick the lock. You know how to pick locks? Yeah, don't you? She's really good. She's gonna pick an electronic lock. Why do you know how to pick locks? That's a long story. Hells yeah, let's finish this. I think I've got it. Huh? Ooh, yeah. Careful, son. You might hurt someone with that. How did you do that? Same way you do it. I pressed X. How do you know about that? It's the way it was supposed to be. So you know what's going on. I do. Who are you? What's going on? Do you like chocolate? I love chocolate. Do you? Really like chocolate. I love chocolate. Okay, how long can I keep you in this? I love chocolate. <laughs> yep, each time it's great. So this is what you can do with like modern FMV games. You know, you have the, the storage space, high definition video, things that were just, you know, you couldn't do 20, 25 years ago. You know, it's like, it's one, like I said, it's one of the things I wish that they, more people would try to make more games like this, have more fun with it, interactions, you know, because the technology has, ever since actually DVD has made it more viable and able to do. CD was just too limited for storage space. I love chocolate. My kind of girl. I love chocolate. I wonder how many chocolate bars they went through to do this. All right, what's going on? Hey, I got the an achievement. The military has been working chocolate, on a drug chocolate. that rewires people's brains. The purpose was to make performing complex actions as simple for people as pressing a button. 
Dodge an attack, press X. Stab someone with a sword, press A. Skip the years of training it would normally take to develop such skills to an expert level. Go on, Keiko. Go on. Military rewired brains. Literally a video game now. It's really meta. Seriously, that's a story that's so stupid. Pardon me. Yeah. I don't think she spit it out. I wouldn't. I would be like, yep, I'm getting diabetes again. We're doing it. Bring me all the crunch bars. So, life is literally a video game now. Sure. Pretty much. That's how Miss Peterson did that flying kick. So that's why Christina knows Kung Fu. Yeah. But the drug doesn't work on everyone. In fact, most people it drives mad. We found that only so-called gamers could handle the rewiring. Only gamers could understand being able to perform karate or reload their rifle being as simple as pressing a button. Everyone else just went crazy. Man. Wait, Christina's a gamer? Angry Birds. Yeah, that look at just leave like, really? Angry Birds? Come on. Okay, what are you? Who are you? And you release this drug on our town, are you crazy? Town is your test site. And you use it to unleash the zombie apocalypse. Hmm. Kind of is like a zombie apocalypse, isn't it? I didn't do it. This wasn't part of the plan. I don't know if something went wrong or if someone intended for this to happen. All I can do is try to help. Here, take my keys. My car is in the parking lot. You can use it to escape. Aren't you coming with us? I don't seek escape. I only seek atonement. Here, take a weapon. It's dangerous outside. Dangerous to go alone. Take this. Ooh. Baseball bat, chainsaw, balloon sword. Balloon sword, baby. <laughs> Pick a real weapon. Hey, I made my decision, lady. You just gotta deal with it. It's your funeral. The parking lot is that way. The red neon. Go. Neon? Oh, I, I'm gonna go on foot, thank you. I don't think the neon would work anyway. A juggalo! No! Um... Hello? Whoop, whoop. Uh, 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 huh? Whoop, whoop. Juggalo. Why does it have to be a juggalo? Oh, I can do this for days in real life. Oh, come on, game. Give me, give me more than that. Ah, itchy ear. forever what happened uh-huh he caught my kick does he have enhanced reflexes too you think he's a gamer but he's one of them so this game put you into a delayed failure state at all like you picked the balloon sword now you can't win see in 30 seconds uh not that i've seen actually uh i've only played this a couple times but i don't think there's like a no win situation Possibly. I mean, there's actually a surprising amount of branching paths you can do in this game. I don't think I've encountered, like, a no-win that I can remember. Um, 
A Farmville player. Can you beat him? I don't know. Here, throw this in him. Where did you get this? I don't know. Let's finish this! Yo, dog, that's whack. Come on, let's go. Or is it like a friendship? found out how this happened. Maybe that'll be in the sequel. What? <laughs> ah! <laughs> nice reflexes, buddy. I love how they tease the sequel. Sadly, no sequel was was had. city looks like we're safe for now he really died three times that's not too bad better than dying four times i guess maybe you should try hard difficulty next time could be somewhere else you could be well you stole my bike, so screw you, asshole. And you really didn't peek on your girlfriend in the shower? That's willpower, man. Seriously. <sighs> Press X to not die, everybody. It's a crazy fun little game. This was in, um, gosh, what was it? Like early access for like a long, long time. And I picked it up for something like two bucks or something like that. I remember I getting like really super cheap. Yeah, it's like a $3. It literally is like a $3 game on Steam. go through speaking of steam change my downloads to two megabytes so that way if it's you know something comes through to update while i'm streaming it just doesn't tank with everything oh yeah it's been a long time since i've seen Shaun of the dead so it's like it wouldn't surprise me if it was a, a reference to it or like you said there especially that line There is DLC. I'm not sure if I actually have it. I pulled up the uh, Steam page just to see how much it costs because this game's been out for about almost three years now. So DLC uh, has bonus features. The Press X to Not Die prototype features 15 minutes of footage. And then there's the shooting script in PDF format. Ooh, yay. 
your turn and press X to not die too, Dream Warriors. That'd be great. Wallpaper and a cover gallery showing the many iterations of Press X to Not Die cover art. Final score, here we go. So the game experience in this playthrough, 44%. Game experience across all playthroughs, 44.7%. 31 minutes, really. Death galleries. Yeah, so you basically you can see all the different times you die and play them whenever you want. Sweet. Essentially, I didn't die a lot of times. There's just a lot of ways to die in this game, apparently. So let's go back to the main menu. So I do not have this, unfortunately. Boo me. Uh, so let's see, downloadable content. It's like a buck, it's 99 cents, but I, unfortunately I am broke, so. Not gonna happen, but let's just for fun real fast check out. 1994 mode. Let's see how this looks in the game. Uh, new game. Dude, wake up. Matt? Uh, it would have been really great if they lowered it down to like 15 frames per second or something. Make it look even more like, you know, it's, it's very pixelated. They've reduced down the color scheme probably like what, 256? Maybe? I mean, it would have been great if they had done, like, full Sega CD version, like, 10 frames, 15 frames per second, like, really, like, 64 colors, that would have been great. Uh, let's see, The Village. No, no, the other shitty one. Never mind all that. Okay, I figured it out. But yeah, we've seen that. Okay, so that's cool. All right, so let's see, so there's one other game I want to play tonight. This one was actually recommended by Ronnie, a friend of mine. So let me give me a second here to get this set up. Let's see, best way to do it. Yeah, I got the 3DO version, but I think it's... 3DO version would look the best by far, but I think that the audio desyncs on it for just ever so slightly. So I think it's just a straight-off emulation problem, but we're going to do this in RetroArch. For me. So let me go through, change up the uh, title again. We're going to change category to Retro. Okay, scene. Press X to not die. Take you off. Retro Arch on. There we go. It's like, come on, you can do it. I believe in you. And let's center this to the screen. okay it's like it's like over here it's like yeah that's perfect i'm like no let's, let's try it again center to screen there we go thanks game and i don't think it's in here no it's not gonna manually select it okay load content directory 3do i think it's in here yeah q so this game uh by the way retro is a lot of fun they made it a lot more stable. I used to really hate it, but they're slowly improving it every single time. It gets better and better. So the 3DO emulator is actually pretty good. Uh, the 3DO company, uh, really awesome. So it seems to play almost every single game that I've run across it so far without much problem. But we're going to be playing a game that I have not played in 24 years, I want to say. Possibly longer. Uh, let's see. Yeah, 24 years now so 
It is a, another full motion video game. It came out on PC, which is where I first played it. It came by Windows 95 PC we bought in 1995. It is Who Shot Johnny Rock? Uh, it was also it also came out on the Sega CD. So, but the 3DO version has the best visuals so far that I've seen outside of like if you can find like the DVD copy or a laser disc version of it. Or Philips CDI may probably be the better one. But yeah, this actually when my parents bought the Windows 95 computer, this game came with it. So I've always wondered, okay, Johnny Rock, JR, is this a tie-in to Dallas? Like, who shot JR? Because I Johnny Rock, was JR. Very lucky until I met Johnny Rock. There we go, tie-in. Now someone's even taken him away from me. The so the audio slightly desynced. file on this one, and that's why I need you. I know it was one of the four diseases that let the hammer down on my man. One second here, let me try something. Um, let's see. 10, 10, 0. Let's try a slight overclock. It might help. High resolution on. Man. Mumps is the name. What of it? Johnny Rock? He was a bum. Two time. A double cross. I don't know who shot him. <laughs> Why don't you ask that grease monkey, uh, Pox? Johnny Rock, Johnny Rock. That's all I hear anymore. Yeah, he was uh, an acquaintance. He had a soft spot for horses and Hudson's. This year one was his. <laughs> I uh, acquired it for him. <laughs> and he placed a few bets in my book. But I didn't shoot him. I pack a pencil, not a piece. Somebody wasted a lot of bullets. And you'll have to, too. Oh, there's lots of heat. Gangsters, explosions, ambushes, and a mystery to boot. Not to mention Murderer's Row. It's a bonanza for bad guys. And there's even a bad girl. Oh, oh no, not me. Lockjaw Lil. Lockjaw Lil. Oh, sweet talk Johnny Rock. Sure, he used to sing here. I was gonna make him a star. Why would I do him in? Do I look like I'm hurting? Maybe it was that weasel they call measles. You know, me and Johnny had something in common. Dynamite. Measles. Him on stage and me with the dirty work. <laughs> them, somebody plugged him. Hey, not me. I took care of him. Well, Johnny. Yeah, I'd say this is actually the first me. game I've seen I have a problem with the simulator. It's interesting. For you to take. Then I hear you're the best. Look, I can make sure it'll be worth your time. American Laser Game. All right. Hmm, okay, this might not be playable. Alright, so yeah, this this unfortunately is not going to work well for this game, unfortunately. This is, like I said, this is the first 3DO game I've seen that doesn't work well um, with with RetroArch, but that's uh, alright. I said, it's un unfortunately, we're just going to have to play a lower quality version of the game. Yeah, it's there, but it's actually not. I'm pretty sure I extracted it. Let's take a oh, second. Be there. I there. Got loaded up. Fortunately, RetroArch one of the things they it doesn't actively search your directories. So if you have a game on there at one point and if you delete it, it just it still stays in there until you rescan the directory, which kind of sucks. Uh, 3DO. No, not 3DO. Uh, Genesis. Fusion. ROM. Here, so let's see. Mad Dog McCree, Johnny Rock, Ben, and this should be Q. And then I go with 
Pico. Oh, glorious Sega CD quality right there. Yeah, see if you can spot where he is when he gets shot in the beginning. Like, where is he? What? What's going on? All right, here we go. Ooh, a gun mouse. Controls, options, uh, not options. Controls, can I do that? Retro pack analog. Okay, let's see. Nope. Crap. Like, oh, good. I can use that. Actually, hold tight. It's usually it's it's one of my streams when nothing goes right. So let me see configuration for KGen controllers, three button pad. <gasps> Ooh, baby. All right. So um, let me do this instead. We're gonna abandon RetroArch. We're going to fire up KGen because you can use the mouse with that. Here we go. It's like a CD image. Johnny Rock Q. All right, set configuration, three button pad. We're gonna pick mouse. Or not. All right, we'll see if we can figure this out real quick. Configuration, no, okay, so we gotta use this. Right, I mean, like, certain emulators, like, one of the top of my head, I know, like, ZSNES uh, had an option where you could actually use your mouse, like, you'd hit a button, like, to toggle it on, and it'd act like the Super Scope, so you could play Super Scope games with it. You'd have crosshairs. All right, and uh, we're hitting problems already. This is not looking good. Oh, come on, man, be cool. Three-button gamepad, define, up, down, left, right, A, B, C, start mode there. Okay, so Oh yeah, it's like it's really cool how they got that to work. Especially when you know how it happens, but it's just like, but in emulation, they basically figured out like, okay, like how to set it up so your mouse pointer is the gun and it basically tricks it that way, which is pretty sweet. Uh, let's see, port one. So port two, it says here, controller. So configuration, port two, menacer. Haha, <laughs> there we go. Sweet, mouse. So this might work. Okay, as you can see, looks like crosshair is in the upper corner. And I don't have it anymore. Crap. Okay, so we're just got to use, we're going to abandon this whole minister thing, which is, is sad. I can use the minister here. Nope. Okay, so we're gonna have to 
just use straight off controller, unfortunately. The whole farting around with it just didn't work. Down, left, right, A, B, C, start, X, Y, Z, and mode. Turn that off, go. Okay. Control pad. There's uh, someone to see you, boy. As soon as I saw her, I knew she was in trouble. I'm in trouble, Lennon. I need your help. Then I made my first mistake. I said I'd listen. Telegram for you, boss. Really? You have to kill him preemptively? We're gonna have to shorten your nickname, Slugger. To Slug. There's, uh, someone to see you, boy. As soon as I saw her, I knew she was... Die! Telegram for you, boss! Okay, there we go. Someone shot my boyfriend, Johnny Rock. And I want you to find out who it was. Johnny Rock. He was a singer. He always wanted to be on the hit parade. And that night, somebody made his wish come true. Nope, not Johnny at all. Rock, Didn't I even flinch. This in his hand. One. Johnny, Johnny, are you there? Johnny, what's the lucky number? Johnny, what's the lucky number? Johnny and I, you can call me Red, we were going to be married. But I'm a floozy. Johnny had the goods on somebody. I want you to find them. I asked if she was followed. She said she didn't think so. Besides, how do you turn down a dame that gives you roses? Yeah, everyone seems to be pretty cool with people walking trying to murder us in conversation. Uh, let me know if the game's too loud. I just kind of noticed it was peeking up a little bit. Okay, turn it down right about here. Let's try this. Let's give that heart a listen. Dude, really? Come on. Nurse, get me a hose. You'd make a good sprinkler. Okay, so turn up... Well, like, turn up the volume a little bit more. I mean, yeah, it'd be nice if there was separate audio sliders, but... Game from 91. Not likely. Hey, it finally let me kill him. Nice. Nail the rat that did this. Put him away until he's as old and gray as the cement in his cell. Then I made my second mistake. I said I'd try. Then I opened the telegram. Let's go to pool hall, casino, warehouse, and garage. Each of the four suspects has a clue combination. Do not kill suspects. Don't tell me what to do. There are too many suspicious thugs hanging around the office. You better not come back here anymore. So you can buy ammunition. So let's go to pool. Hi. Really? <laughs> yeah, there's an ammo counter in the upper right hand corner. I don't work for free. Each time you get shot, the doctor, you have to pay the doctor. Out of money, out of luck. That's the name of the game. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that guy was the mortician also in Mad Dog McCree. By the way, you have to fire a bullet to pick your level. Put on a little weight. How does it feel to lose it? You gonna do anything here? Yeah, 
Yeah, this game cheese. really doesn't like me. <laughs> you remind me of Swiss cheese. Keep keep nailing them, and it's like, no, 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 no that didn't work. I don't know, like, when, like, when you can pull the trigger on people, though. That's the thing. Okay, so she's down. She's down here. I don't work for free. I'll shoot you for that. It's Betty Bye for this private eye. Better luck next time. I will conquer the pool. Hey, I made it past that part. Sweet. Hey, Morg, what's up? Good to see you. I walked into a room of sharks. Say, bud, this is a private club. They're not sharks, they're playing billiards. Yeah, well, I ain't looking for you. I'll store you in my cheeks till winter. <laughs> what? Take care of them, boys. Next time, duck. What about goose? The game also doesn't like to register inputs. I just hit this twice. It didn't do anything. There we go. Yeah, this game is crazy with the timing. You have to be... Yeah, patching you up you have to know ahead of time and fire before the animation starts. I remember actually getting pretty far on the PC version that came with my Windows 95 PC. I into a room of, shock. of course, you were playing with a mouse is a lot easier. I don't know how to get the Menacer to work for this emulator. I didn't figure it out ahead of time. Good lord. You put on a little weight. Yeah, it, it made it a Just lot easier. Like I said, PC was was no problem. I was able to you know blow through it without an issue. Yeah, this is like straight. Look at that booze. Yeah, this is nothing but trial and error with like no like no leeway whatsoever. There's no like okay, you can get like like a 2 seconds window in order to hit them and register it before it says like instant. Oh yeah, I'm sure it wouldn't. Yeah, K-Jet, it's it's kind of surprising like I it's all still right, the best right. emulator after all Look these years. What you did to my place? What do you want? What do you want? I told him that I wanted his clue to the combination. Okay, it's over there. It's over there. Okay. How much does ammo cost? I don't know. It just did give me the option and said, here you go. Okay, uh, let's try... You're not supposed to go to the office. What happens when I go to the office? here there's no evidence here oh don't forget your lucky number boss it's one let's try garage oh wow that was fast I was too busy reading that awesome awesome pun no money take him to the morgue 
I'm still alive. Take him down anyway. We's tough guys. You make a good stiff. A bad shot, but a good stiff. So he likes a stiff one, huh? All right. No, I thought I was looking up no! the stairwell. Just looking down it. Nope. Now this gun shoots it's an automatic. Pardon me. You're going pow, pow, pow. This game is chugging. I went to the garage to find a disease named Pox. Oh, so you're the bright boy. Uh, beat it. We're busy. Hey, why don't you show him that rod we just greased up, boy? Hey, why don't you just like commit murder for this guy for me, eh? Who is supposed to be shooting at? What what pixel? Let's give that heart a listen. I went to the garage to find a disease. Next time. The I went to the garage. Did you even see where that came from? Because I didn't see anything happen on the screen there. Swiss cheese. It's like, seriously, did anyone see where that shot came from? Yeah, exactly. I'm like, um, like no puff of smoke and the Sega CD really not helping with its uh, limited palette and video quality. I went to the garage to find a disease named Pox. I just want to make sure, like, I wasn't the only one thinking that. I'm like, uh, I didn't see anything happen there. So one and two. <laughs> yeah. No okay money. then. Take him to the morgue. All right. Yeah, morgue. He's, I'm I'm crashing with your place. I gotta stay with you, you now. Make a good stiff. A bad shot, but a good stiff. All right. One last game. We're firing it up. If you've been around me before, you know that I love this game. It's crazy. Hey, I'm a lonely man. Come on. I could use a girlfriend or a floozy or whoever. Love is a li only a light switch away. After a couple of drinks, I'm attractive. All right. Drug Wars. That's eh, a fun one. It's always good. But my favorite one is still the reigning champion, Space Pirates. I own this game. I really, like I said, I own the physical copy of this game for my 3DO. Can't wait to play it on the actual system when I get my retro tank. It will be a glorious day. This game, if you've never seen it before, buckle up. It's great. It's it's amazing is the only way to really describe it. The amount of homeless people that hired to be in this is, a, is astounding. This is Ursula Sky, commander of Colonial Star One. We are under attack. Repeat, under attack. My ship has been overrun by the Black Brigade. Captain Talon is in control of the Star Splitter Cannon. They're beaming colonists aboard the Black Dragon as hostages until the cannon crystals are found. Situation bleak. Deflector shield destroyed. Can't hold out much longer. Please respond. Your history! <laughs> American laser game. A 
scourge of the galaxy. Captain it's a prospector from Mad Dog McCree. The evil machinery that works his sinister mind has concocted a diabolical plan to exterminate us all. <laughs> Welcome aboard the Black Dragon. <laughs> Too much fog machine. Pay no attention to this lovely but pitiful creature. Who's clearly not tied up but Any just holding her hands up. You see this black hole? It was parallax to this me. Now I will answer him with his own star splitter. This galaxy is mine! Who can stop this mad pirate? That was probably sadly the best line she was able to give. It looks as though this malevolent mystery and his armada of cutthroat pirates will succeed. His quest is my greatest greatest creation the star splitter cannon talon needs now are the star crystals that will arm it well these crystals have been lost for years on different worlds throughout the solar system we must find them before talon does the journey will be treacherous and fraught with danger there are many foes not only will you have to repel the Black Brigade, a formidable and seemingly invincible force, there will also be mutant life forms, sorcerers, and mystics with their own bag of tricks. They will do all in their power to keep you from the Star Crystals. Then, of course, there is the greatest nemesis of them all, Captain Talon. But I want you to know, I believe we can do it. You and me. Star splitter here that will blast that robotic space pirate crew out of the stars forever. What I need is a quick hand and a keen eye. What I need is a star ranger. Remember, winners don't do drugs. Now this game actually did come out in the arcades. I never saw one, unfortunately. Like, I've played actually like Mad Dog McCree in the arcades, uh, Crime Patrol. Uh, there was a quick draw game as well, but this one I didn't see. There is a DVD of it, uh, of this game, uh, and also a PC port, but I, I haven't been able to find those, like, personally to buy myself. Yeah, these. No, actually, I would say more of these effects are very special with quotation marks around it. So. Yeah, so this game, like I said, it's, it's my highlight. Like, when, when I'd have friends come over who'd never heard of the 3DO system whatsoever, they're like, what the hell is a 3DO? I'm like, well, it was the PlayStation 3 of its day. It, it cost, it launched in, I think, 1993, I think is when it came out. And it cost $700, which is like $1,200 adjusted for inflation U.S. dollars today. But it was CD-based. It had very high quality video for the time. It was better than Sega CD by a long shot. And it also supported surround sound for a lot of games too. So, I mean, it was very ahead of its time, but it just had that huge cost where it just killed everything for install base. But they had a lot of, a lot of fun games to it. Ironically, when I bought my 3DO, which was around like my first one I bought, because I own three systems actually. Uh, I have a Gold Star Complete in box. But 3DO, when I bought it and like 20 games off of eBay, like around 2000 or so, cost me a total of like 50 bucks because people just didn't care. I mean, there's like, just get rid of it. This, this thing's stupid, whatever. But now with the retro collectors and everything, it's gone back up. Now you'll find like 3DO systems on sale on eBay for probably two, three hundred dollars if not more. 3DO console. So let's see. Um... The FZ10, which is the second revision. Yeah, if that works, I'll be surprised. 150 bucks, 150, 200, 250. So yeah, they're they're going back up in price. They go up and down. So this guy's like selling one for 26 bucks. Yeah, I doubt that. So yeah, this was a it was a very unique system for the time, kind of like the Neo Geo, where it just it, it did amazing things, but it just was cost prohibitive. Okay, so let's play this game. Like I said, I like the joke that the they hired the best homeless people around and just put this crappy gear on them and just said, whatever, just act. 
It's These pirates are it's amazing. This is a chance to improve your aim. I don't care. You can skip it. Here we go. I would love to have the light gun for this. I've only seen it one time in the wild and I was broke so I couldn't buy it. It was on sale for like 50 bucks. This was about 15, 16 years ago. But now when it comes, like the light gun comes available on eBay, we're talking like 150 bucks for a light gun. It's a Star Ranger. Give that man an Academy Award. You know, like people, this is a ship, mind you, not a factory. You don't know, have like ropes. Really? Oh, come on, dude. I, I nailed you. A lot of people like swinging on ropes and repelling. It's it's special. I love this game. I got to say, if you're making home porn like this, you have very high production values, my friend. All right, baby, so I want you to put on these clothes like a hobo and uh, swing it on a rope. You know something about a Star Ranger, if you can, that really gets me going. Like that guy said. Crap. So there were no stuntmen. The, I'm, I am 100% convinced that almost everybody involved in this were homeless. Rail and kill. Crap. These pirates are armed to the teeth. So unfortunately, it's like you got like really slow or like really fast. And unfortunately, I was jamming the button, so it started over instead of continuing. Urgh. That's on me. But you see, this is a little, this is a lot more forgiving than Who Shot Johnny Rock. That was just. Pretty much impossible to play on a pad, and without memorizing everything. I showed this game to my mom a couple months ago, she just could not stop laughing. This is tricky because not every single time this one is like, you know, people who show up, of course, are, are pre-programmed, but the where they show up is not. Sometimes that guy will come down. Sometimes he won't show up till later. Make every shot count. See, like the the rope person didn't come down that time. Yeah, there's very slight RNG. You jumped up, you're getting shot. And just get your stupid. Are you on? Ours or talent? Talent, sir. So this one here is constant. She's always there, but after this point, who knows? But like I said it's it's very generous, so. Be 
The energy level is getting critical. So fortunately you don't have too many like odd spots like this where it's kind of hard to hit. Usually not, but I mean, once you get past this part, it's a lot easier. Well, no space copy with you. Get down! Put down the cookie! Hobo pirate. And everybody else should be railings up at this point. There should be one more person up here. There we go. So that should let me get past this now. Son of a bitch! I don't remember this one lasting this long. Yeah, charges, it's basically, it's your ammo count is what it is, because it's sci-fi, futuristic, so it's like a laser gun. But it's basically your ammo count. So the more you shoot, you'll see the charge gauge go down. But you have to go down, like, you know, like most uh, light gun games, either shoot off screen or in this case, shoot at the bottom bar where I'm at. We'll reload your gun. You see right there, the charge is going down. That's refilled. All right, so, you know, what? let's cheese this out. See you, Steve. I just want to get past it. <laughs> don't shoot, don't shoot. So this is just the most annoying part is this part right here. Then after this, it, it gets a lot more fair. It's just that whenever you have a light gun game, I always hate when you have people show up in these weird corners behind stuff. So it's hard to, to know that they're going to be, you know, like hit them accurately. Oh yeah. Don't shoot, don't so I don't remember this lasting this long. This is ridiculous. Okay, cool. I actually got it, so. There we go. Jeez. Yeah, that was weird. I don't like I said I don't remember that lasting anywhere near that long, usually. Quick, throw yourself to the floor. Spin around! This guy dies in slow motion for reasons I've never understood. No, it's actually not resetting it. Oh, come on. Are you on ours or talons? Talons. I thought I made that clear. I should mention I'm colorblind. Man, oh, come on. Are you on? Ours or Game decided, yeah, we're not going to have, we're not going to be too light. generous there with the auto aim. You call that help? Yes, I do. Was a I knew what I was doing. Putting them out of their misery. I mean, they're in this terrible game. Shoot the yellow light. I love these people's delivery of these lines. This is. I'm good. The death grip beam holds Commander Sky. Shoot when it's green. Oh, 
Ooh, couldn't even see that guy. Make every shot count. <laughs> Probably. But do you really want this on your SAG credit, though? I mean... American Laser Games. I mean, you gotta have some kind of dignity, really, you know? No, I am ring I am red green colorblind. But uh thankfully this game's not too bad for that. Okay. Get talent. Your life support system is running low. Be extra careful. Then you're waiting gold for the head of the Star Ranger. You know, there's an incredibly tiny percentage of people in Curry for Ooh, really? Yeah, I'm at like I'm like mostly red green, but then I have like some other weird stuff like some blues I can't see as well. So I'm like all over the place. Got like a little bit of everything, unfortunately. Alright. But I'll, I'll say though, the one time it really pays off for me is the fall. Is like you see like all the trees like apparently like people are seeing like brown and like just terrible colors I'm seeing like purples bright pinks I'm seeing like all sorts of amazing stuff you like normal people with functional eyeballs don't get to see should be the guy here in front get talent can't read, can't see red and green. How do you know when you're in an Italian restaurant? Uh, I usually can smell the garlic. Get pow pow! Really? Be careful, Rick. Your energy level. Get talent! Get talent! Get talent! Pow -pow. There we go. Say the, say the commander! That actually does the same thing. It actually skips like that on the actual 3DO. Take that, Ray! It's like, save, save the commander! Save Ursula! Leslie Nielsen. Oh, that was cheap. You go to shoot, the camera changes, so then you're not hitting where it used to be. That is, that was cheap. Get talent. I totally agree. He totally would have cleared the place out. Frank Drebin is the man. I love the naked gun. It, this movie does not get nearly enough love. Oh, Drebin. I don't want any more trouble like you had last year on the south side. Understand? That's my policy. Yes. Well, when I see five weirdos dressed in togas stabbing a guy in the middle of the park in full view of a hundred people, I shoot the bastards. That's my policy. 
that was a Shakespeare in the Park production of Julius Caesar, you moron. You killed five actors. Good ones. Oh, I love The Naked Gun. Such an awesome, awesome movie. All right, Retro Arch, here we go. I haven't seen like the second one in in so many years. I can I can't really remember anything other than like the like there's a guy in a wheelchair. And that's it. The first movie I can pretty much recite from memory. Frank Drebin. Yeah, that one's a cheap one, I remember. Save the commander! Save the commander! Save the commander! I just want to see what happened if I didn't do anything. I've never done that before. Save! Nice work, Ranger. Now to the transporter. Seriously, like green this is a prostitute. I, I swear this is this is not an actor. This one's not homeless, but you can clearly see it, it's a prostitute. Rangers to the colony ship. Talon can be had alright, but you'll need the robotic tracker. But first You'll have to get beyond these. These are the objectives. One world holds the Star Splitter Cannon. The other three worlds hold the crystals that will arm it. We know Talon's pirates hold the Star Splitter. The crystals, we're not sure. Remember this always. There will be mutants, tricksters. Ah, but I'll help you through. First, I must tell you the arming sequence of the Star Splitter. First, the Crimson Red Crystal then the emerald green, and then the aqua blue. Remember, it's the order the crystals must be loaded. We think only you can stop these space pirates. Oh, Pick no. a world I and stand by for transport. Soon, Jay, so it's not a problem. Good luck, Ranger. Thanks for dropping by, though. It's always good to have you. Let's see. Let's try this place. <laughs> it's wrong place. It's wrong place. You cannot win, like 20 guys pop up. Star Ranger, Felina's beauty is just in disguise. Everything she says is a pack of lies. Star Ranger, Felina's beauty is just in disguise. Everything she says is a pack of lies. Cheating. Why didn't that register? Obviously, green screen later. Wow, that was that is top. Get Captain attack. Talon. I am Felina, and your friend. Choose silver, then left for your journey's end. Get 
Captain Talon. Do I, I am do I get that line again? No, Lena we're good. And your friend. Choose silver, then left for your journey's end. Since you slithered into my world, Star Ranger, take a shot at my snake guys. You're too constricted. Yeah. Listen up and try again. She was that great. Uh, she did a perfect job. Yeah, I think this is a full blown ambush. We'll see. Oh, it was valuable. It was viable. Oh well. Oh, I'm really hurting, but there's one last thing I want to try out. <laughs> Let's drop out of this. Go and fire this up. I know you're looking at a black screen, be just a moment. See if I can get this to work right. One last final game. It was kind of hard to track this one down, but I managed to find the ISO for Mad Dog McCree on the Wii. Uh, but emulating for this is a little bit tricky. Still has some scan lines, it looks like, where it's not your, it's not your lace correctly. Controllers. It's in the air. It's an ill wind that bodes no good. Mad okay, Dog McCree go. and his band of cutthroats riding into town. Folks here plumb scared to death. Town's Colors, deserted. Figures. Even a tumbleweed doesn't dare blow across the streets today. Because these hombres are mean, vicious, <laughs> quick to the gun. I'm sure we got a sheriff. Let's see if this works. What we need is a gun sling. Okay, and... Single player. Hi, you're new around these parts. You heading into my daddy's town? This is like the best He's version the of the game that I've been able to see and emulate at least. Well, if you are, you better take it. One more important hey, thing. Hey, old codger! Don't... Oh, that's gonna be a problem. Hey, now that's good shooting, stranger. There we go. It's like, in order to like try to like reload, you have to like almost click off the screen. It's like, oh no. Jack, and he's in the saloon drinking. So, aren't you supposed to be in space? He's in the saloon. I 
think this was shot in old Tucson before it burned down. You have to like you have to click on a far left bar of the screen. Very Thanks, stranger. tricky to do. To you. I know you're a fucking mad dog. But remember one thing, Denver's a bulletproof vest, and here's the keys. Yeah, bulletproof vests in the old west? I gotta skip town. Mad Dog! <laughs> you don't stand a chance. Let's go get him, stranger. I got him! Hey! It's like I'm trying to reload. Oh, got me. It's like, it's really hard to get the aim off the screen. You only got two lines but there. you have to like but you're in an emulator so if you click outside the window then it's off the program so it doesn't work anymore so sometimes they're like right there registered as like okay reloading but the other time it's just like nope you're still shooting mad dog you don't stand a chance Let's go get him, stranger. All right, let's try one more life here. I got him. Hey! <laughs> Railing kill. The map to the hideouts in the mine, but you've got to talk to the prospector first. Prostitute? Okay. No, prospector. Prostitute? There's more inside! Nope, thought I shot the guy. Hit the hostage and said, That was a good woman you shot. She was holy in the end. Population 64. Tactical rolling. Where there's like no gunshots on this, at least. Well, I said it's an emulation problem. I'm sure the, the actual thing has the bullet sound effects. Mad Dog will get me for telling you this. But if you get to the hideout, don't approach from the front! Go in the front door, got it. You looking for trouble, stranger? Okay, got shot from somewhere. Didn't see where that one came from. 
Looks like this good old boy has seen his last gunfight. Time to take him to Boot Hill. Oh no, I stink. Well, with that, stop the current emulation, we shall. Yep, we've reached the end of the stream for today. Of course, I do want to thank everybody for showing up, anyone who is lurking as well. On top of Jay and the morgue, of course, always good to see the two of you. It makes streaming a lot more fun. Of course, we got people chatting in. So we went through, we played uh, Double Switch, and then we did Press X to Not Die, then Space Pirates, Who Shot Johnny Rock, and then finally... The classic Mad Dog McCree. So, I'll be back streaming again. Like I said, I stream about every other day. So, today is Tuesday. So, Thursday, looks like it will be. Uh, I stream 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. If you don't know when that is, just type it into Google and it will tell you for wherever it is that you are in the world. Uh, you can also follow along on Twitter at Wurzel555. You don't have to follow me there. But I always post up usually about an hour or two, sometimes a little bit more in advance when I'm going to be streaming, or if I need to postpone it or for whatever, cancel. It's always up on there, so that way you're not left in the lurch, kind of wondering if I'm going to be streaming if you decide to come back and hang out again, which is always welcomed. Uh, so next time I stream, not quite sure what I'm going to be playing. I do have a list of things that uh, I always like to try to do. Like, I actually have like a running list of ideas. Uh, one of the things is the 60 Brutality, or Brutal, I'm not sure how to say that, is, uh, was recommended by Jay. I'll be checking that out. Not sure if I'll be streaming it. I do want to do another 30 minute uh, Mario 64 speedrun challenge, just how many stars you can get in the 30 minutes. I've been dying to play Pilot Wing 64 again. Uh, crazy fighting games, kind of like along the FMV stuff, would be Dong Dong Never Die, which is a Chinese made fighting game, which is another one you have to see to believe. Uh, so I might be I'm thinking I might possibly do a Nintendo 64 stream next time. I'm just not sure. But we'll see how things go. But I do want to thank everybody for hanging out. Let's see if there's anyone uh, streaming up here. It'll be fun to, to check in and on. Let's see. Ooh, Tessa. Tessa's going here. So give me a second. Let me pull her up. And we'll host her as soon as I end the stream here. Tess, Tess rocks. It's good to see that she's streaming again. So we do this. So thanks for hanging out. Hopefully I'll see you Thursday. I'm looking like probably do a Nintendo 64 uh, stream at that point. But... Thanks for hanging out.